anything mama we ever buy that No I come borrow girl clothes I mean I see the boy with the car the old me and go down the road Come on now easy to get and if a boy get me now go easy to let Promise me no see the girl with the run up on my panic Now watch your pretty face if you open like a bunny You don't see me it's close to I mean the game I play me a few weeks come in a tech closet Welcome back to another Black Booty Edition video. If you didn't know, now you know it's your girl Onika coming back to you again with another Military Edition video. So, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, make sure you hit that post notification bell, and make sure you follow me over here on Instagram, and make sure you follow me over here on TikTok. Connect with me so I can connect back with you. Guys, so based off the title below, I'm going to be discussing how and why I started YouTube. So back in, I would say 2021 to 2022, I, 2021, because 2022, January, I started working for Delta. So 2021, um, I was going on this healing journey. It was after COVID and I was just going on this healing journey. And I said, you know what? Um, with this new person I'm becoming, I really wanted to, um, basically share my healing journey with others and honestly i started reading a lot of self-help books i started reading just um money books to just get my mind right and to develop my characteristics as a person and at that point i was 19 going on 20 because i started i wanted to, i started wanting to go into youtube around 2021 july and um i don't remember when i started my channel but i think i started to like produce content in late 2021 um i think my first video was when i turned 20 on my birthday i do remember that <laughs> yes it's coming back to me now it's coming back to me but i started youtube my first video was on my birthday and I remember I was, I didn't know what I was doing. I did my phone this way. And I know, I didn't know I was supposed to do it this way. It was just a hot mess, but I still posted the video. Um, and then I um, started like trying to find different, different content to post. And I went to, um, I went to a virtual women's brunch and I posted that so that my audience can get to know me a little bit deeper. It was a very slow ride. I didn't have a lot of like subscribers. I didn't have like, I think I had like 10 subscribers and there's just a thing about wanting to do better for yourself and your family and friends won't support you. Like they won't post your videos. They won't like comment. They won't subscribe. I think I, I sent my YouTube channel to my cousin and to this day, she did not subscribe to my videos, but you know, you just got to keep still pushing. You got to keep it pushing. You got to keep it pushing. So after I did that, I started trying to create more content and I would go to places to create more content, but not edit it to post it on my channel. Like to this day, I have about like so many videos that take up so many storage in my phone that I'm supposed to post on YouTube. But so many things happen throughout like the day, throughout my life that I'm like, oh my gosh. So towards 2021, I created, um... I think my last video was like, you know, just going into 2022. So I went into 2022, I started a new job. So that took away my time from YouTube because obviously I wanted to do well. I was on probation for six months and I started working at Delta and I was really excited and I wanted to make sure I gave it my 150% best so that you know i can make sure like i have a permanent position because you know when you're on probation and when you just start a job all eyes are on you for you to make a mistake so i put down youtube for a bit and um i picked it back up i would say in june or like july right because i said i was going to enlist into the army so i was like okay my channel was still going slow at this point it was still going slow at this point and i was like you know what um, let me document my journey and let me try to see if I can um, create an audience based off of this journey and let my audience know me and start my platform from there. So I started um, I started a video and I didn't post a video until I um, finished basic training and I started to build my military audience from there. Basically just explaining like my journey going into the military, my journey just going into basic and 
I decided to go into the military because I felt like, you know, at that moment in my life, it was like the perfect opportunity to establish myself at the high level that I wanted. And I have a lot of like high standards for myself. I have a lot of goals that I want to accomplish. I have a lot of things that I said, you know, I talked to God about and I was like, listen, I want to, I want to be this type of person that I want to break generational curses and just have a lot of things that I want to do for my family and I want to do for myself. I think a lot of times people talk about, you know, what you want to do for your kids and the generational curse that you want to break for the future. But I don't think you can break a generational curse if you're not breaking it from the past too as well because there's a lot of things that I've seen like my great grandma experience I've seen my grandma experience I see my auntie experience I see my mom experience and in order to heal for the future you have to heal for the past so I feel like the army has given me a sense of discipline a sense of um security a lot of times I felt like um, I haven't had that security that I needed to like, okay, I don't have to worry about this. I don't have to worry about this. And when I was going into my healing journey, I talked to God and I was like, God, I don't want to really be worrying about having to pay rent. I don't want to be having to worry about like um, so much bills at one time and having to do overtime. Um, because when I started Delta, I was only making $17 an hour and I was living in New York City. And the cost of living in New York City is very high. So at times, depending on the certain stuff that I wanted to do or if I had something to do that day, I would have to do overtime to make sure like my check balances out to make sure that everything is being secured and I'm being stable. So as I progressively started to realize, you know, what was going on, I'm the type of person I look at my future and I'm like, okay, if this ain't adding up, is if one plus one don't make two, if two plus two don't make four, then I'm figuring something out. And so honestly, joining the military was such a funny, like I joined it as honestly, as a joke. It was like, and I know you guys are going to think about like, what is she talking about as a joke? Like literally I was walking through the mall and me and my brother were walking and we were like, I was like, oh, I'm going to join the army. I'm going to join the army because I was like a bonus. Oh, well, they're going to give me a bonus. I'm going to join the army. So I texted the recruiter and I was like, yeah, I'm going to join. I want to join. And I filled out like that application that you fill out on army.com. And the recruiter contacted me and I was just like, and they, they started speaking that sweet language. It's that sweet language that they started speaking. And I was like, oh. And my job had a bonus. I'm not gonna tell you how much it was, but it was pretty sweet. And it wasn't no two thousand dollars. It was it it was definitely it was definitely a two digit number. It was definitely a two digit plus some other digits number. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do it because this bonus can put me even further than I want to be I can save I can save some real money I can put some money down to a deposit for a house if I wanted to I could get a secondhand car or I could get um a brand new car and I was like you know what I'm gonna do this I'm gonna do this it's just for four years I have done high school for four years I have done middle school for a month like I could do this so then eventually I told Delta, like, you know, I'm in listening to the military and they have this law where if you're in a job, they cannot fire you if you're going on active duty military status. So currently, although I'm in the military as an active duty worker, I still am an employee with Delta Airlines. So, but they can only hold your job for five years. So my contract is four years. So if I choose um, not to re-enlist, I can go back to my job. Now, um, I told Delta, hey, I'm not going to be in. So I had to contact HR and I had to do the paperwork to fill out. And then um, slowly as I started to do that, I started to document my journey on YouTube. And honestly, I feel like now everybody wants to do YouTube and everybody, you know, wants to gain that social media content content um, income. And of course, who wouldn't want to? You see so many influence influencers and how social media has changed their life and honestly i want to be one of those like i want to be one of those where social media has significantly changed my life to where i can look at my life and be like thank you god because well i'm appreciative now but i want to look at my life and be like yes i have checked off all my things that i wanted to check off now 
going forward like i definitely want to start doing so many different content but honestly because so many people are doing youtube and because so many people are doing the same things it's so discouraging because you're like okay me sitting here just talking to you guys it can get boring because i know sometimes i'll be watching youtube and i'm like girl you talking too much boop this is boring so i do want to do vlogs where i'm not just in my house or i'm not just talking to you guys and i know some sometimes you guys like those videos but i really want to you know spread my wings and starting to do more than military content i don't want my channel just to be about military content even though military content has gotten me about i would say 270 subscribers because even before i started the military content i had a few little people that were subscribing to me thank you guys but military content has really pushed my channel so big so i'm so thankful for all of you people who have subscribed to me sometimes i feel like Am I like interesting? Am I pushing out content that is interesting? I know that most of my content is information based. So I definitely want to push out more content that's just, you know, me and everyday military life. I want to show you guys what field training looks like. You know, I want to show you guys what uh, my experience was like at the National Training Center. I didn't vlog that, but I can definitely do a sit down video on that, which is NTC if you guys don't know it for sure. Um, I definitely want to do a next vlog. I think this upcoming year is going to be very interesting because I'm going to be at a new station. Um, I'm not going to tell you guys the station yet. It's going to be a surprise. I'm going to, I'm not PCSing. I don't know if I can say what I'm doing, but you know, cause the military has so many rules, but I'm not PCSing, but I'm basically going to another station for a couple of months and, um, I'm going to be doing vlogs and documenting my journey and guys i think the military offers so many changes good change and bad change so definitely documenting my journey on that and how it's going to affect me mentally emotionally and physically um and i definitely want to start just showing you guys more consistency i'm trying i'm trying i'm trying i think it's just a discipline thing and that's what i'm going to be working on because when i have to get up at 0 5 30 to go to work to go to pt i can't tell myself no so if i could if i could do it for the army i have to start doing it for myself if i'm going to reach where i want to reach when it comes to my social media so guys please 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 make sure you follow me over here on instagram follow 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 me over here on tiktok and make sure you subscribe share out these videos to your family members your friends your cousin your aunties your your fake fake cousin your second cousin your third cousin your fourth out of your mama cousin i want you to share it out to anybody who you think will be interested in my content i'm gonna be doing more than military videos so stay tuned for that and i hope you guys are having a happy 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 new year and make sure you comment below later